Buddy, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So a few months ago, I did a video on Graphene OS, and I said in this video that I think that it is the greatest OS of all time. Now, Graphene OS only works on Google Pixels, which is incredibly disappointing to a lot of people. The reason that they focus on that is twofold, to my understanding. A, the Pixel is the only phone on the market that has all the security features they're looking for because it is a security centric operating system. That's what they want to do. And B, Google releases the Android open source project with the Pixel as the reference. So you don't have to worry about getting all these other little things working because they already work out the door. So it makes things a little bit easier if you're a small development team. So one of the things that I was kind of disappointed about, to be clear, not at Graphene OS, I'm disappointed in Google and Samsung here, is that there was an exploit that apparently was reported at the end of last year, and they're only pushing out an update now. So this is from 9to5Google. Turn off voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling due to severe Exynos modem vulnerabilities on the Pixel 6. Now, this has been pushed out to the Pixel 7. So if you have a Pixel 7, you're good. If you have a Pixel 6, the only way to deal with it I shit you not, is you need to turn off something that has no toggle switch. So it says over here that known for finding zero days, Project Zero reported 18 vulnerabilities in Exynos modems in late 2022 and early 2023. Four of the vulnerabilities, including uh, blah, blah, involve internet to baseband remote code execution. So again, with no user interaction, all you have to do is know the victim's phone number and you can compromise the phone at a baseband level. Ouch. So the way that you fix this is by turning off voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling. But here's where it gets good. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? And the top voted comment here just pretty much says it all. So Google is telling me my Pixel 6 is vulnerable and it's a serious issue, but they have not released a patch for my phone. So they tell me in the meantime to turn off Wi-Fi calling and voice over LTE, but they remove the toggle to turn off voice over LTE. Do I have this right? Because I was kind of curious because in this particular article, they show you how to turn off Wi-Fi calling, but they don't tell you how to turn off voice over LTE because they removed it. So Google's saying there's an issue we found out with your phone four or five months ago that could allow anybody that knows the phone number to exploit your phone, which has all your stuff on it. We're not fixing it until now unless you have the newest phone, but we're going to announce that this exists. And above all, the only way to protect yourself in the meantime is to toggle a switch that we removed. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. What I did in the meantime is I ripped open the back of my phone and I tore the effing battery out of it because too many people know my phone number for me to mess with that. That's what I'm going to be doing until they release something to fix this shit. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know because there's probably a lot of people watching my channel that use the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro that are in the same boat that I am. Or I don't know, maybe... I don't know, maybe over 10,000 people know your phone number and maybe you've pissed some people off. Maybe you have sensitive information on your phone. You could... Put your phone in airplane mode. Again, me, just to be safe. Don't trust any of this shit. Rip the back off. Not waterproof anymore. Whatever. I took the battery out. And just remember, when it comes to security issues and vulnerabilities and safety issues, all of this are coming from people that want to fix your phone. Just remember that. From now until the end of eternity, whether we're talking about a cell phone, a microwave, or a tractor, we shouldn't be allowed to fix our own stuff because that will cause security issues. Not exploits that are only fixable by toggling an option that Google removed the toggle for. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.